Well, I'm out on the river surface hunting, and man, I just got a heartbreaker. I'm let the waters change levels. Look right here. Right here. It's laying right on top of the mud. It's come right off that stuff, and the water's dropping and sucked it down. It's a black Mississippian Madison Point in the tips. Oh, and it's just real nicely made. Look at it. That's a shame. That would have been a day maker just right, and this is the first place I stopped to look. I found a couple flakes of flint and a point, and I found these here before on video on this spot, sifting and other stuff too from all time periods. I'm gonna look around, see if I see anything else. But man, that would have been a good find. Still a decent find, you know, to find anything ancient like this. But I'll get back if I see anything else, see how all this stuff slid down the mud. It's all stuff out of the high banks. It's hard to tell what's laying here. There might be something awesome or nothing. I just gotta look at it later. All right, I'm getting my glove off here. I sifted all around in here. I just found flint. So the next clips, all I found was that broken arrowhead. Um, the next clips will be on a dump and I'm not going today, so I'll get tomorrow. Um, it's the day after Thanksgiving right now. I'm just too tired. I looked all day yesterday and got a video, but after this clip, you will see me on a dump somewhere tomorrow. Later. All right, I'm back in the dump. I'm opening up this hole where I, I found a Crocs right over in there, the last two, um, or right in here somewhere. I got one of these Donald Duck things. I got this nice little cork bottle. It's not embossed, but man, it's an old one. Um, I got this compact and it's complete. We'll open it up at the end or something. I doubt there's anything in it, but you never know. I'll get back on my first one. Later. That's another shell button right there, and it's awesome. And look at that metal one right there. See it? It might. It's real ornate. I'm way down deep in here, and I'm starting to hit the layers I want to. I should get on to at least a few things today. I try to find something every time I'm out, at least a value, to make the trip worth it. Later. I'm working on cleaning this hole out, but I got a marble. It's way back in there. I want to take you back in. I haven't seen it. It's right there at the tip of my finger. Let's see what we got. Might be a beautiful one. I don't know. Oh, it's nice. It's some kind of real unique. Oh, baby, look at that. It looks like an eye. Look at that. It's got a white spot like an, a pupil right in the middle of that. Uh, man, and it's like clear base white with other, oh, it's nice. That's worth it. That'll look nice right in the middle of a frame with that on it. Oh, man. I've been hitting it hard today. I haven't, all I found is that marble, really, and the stuff that's here. Multiple heartbreakers, breaking milk. I did just get this. It's a great bet that's perfect. And it says Marietta. You know, and, and the ACL's all there. Um, it's a you know like a dollar to two dollar bottle like at a flea market in Marietta but I think I got a kids candy container from the 1930s and you can see how deep I am it's as long as my shovel or rake handle down in there and it's a dog it's right there let's hope this ain't all break up I can tell it's a candy container because see the bottom's open it would have had like a a tin plate on it and there would have been candy up inside it oh it's there folks it's all there it's all there it's a candy container too you can see right here that's where it would have flipped up it would have had a bottom on it and candy and it would have been sold in like a five and dime store and you've seen the tanks and stuff i have with the army men there's tanks there's little guns there's cowboy boot ones there's jeeps there's cars from the like 30s this is nice and look it's all there there's no damage to the ears or nothing it's just absolutely perfect it's a kid's toy um after they a, a little girl probably got this one or a little boy you know took it home ate the candy and it sat on a, a shelf in his room and the cars and stuff the little jeeps all the ones i find you can see on the wheels where a kid's pushed them across the floor they've played with them which makes them even better that's nice well here's another one of these little cards printed on some kind of early plastic stuff and it's automotive for every piping 
need all no it's pipe fitters crane c-r-a-n-e valve f fittings and pipes and right there you can see it it's an old style ad and on the back there's a calendar and right there at the top it says 1948 crane valves fittings pipes plumbing and something heating take that clean it up see where it's from later and look at all of these blue bottles and you know i haven't shown this size of this one and look it still screws off and that's you know world war ii or before um it's right around world war ii i would guess the mid 40s but people want these and i've found thousands of these all in hundreds of different ones and this is a different one and I just got this one. I didn't even show it. That's blue. Just you know, every rake almost. There's something coming out blue. Later. You know, I think this is like the third one of these this year. And you can see the ends cut off. People made whistles or horns out of these. A long time ago. This probably came from somebody's trip to the ocean. That's pretty daggone cool for finding it in a dump. And it's definitely a cut off to be a whistle. Oh, uh, man. Later. Not sure if these are Cracker Jack toys or not, but I just found a red one just like this right over there the other day. And this one's perfect too. It's like a little fire truck. Take that. Hopefully I can get some marbles. When you see them little toys like that, you're going to find nice marbles. That's what you're looking for. Later. Right, I must be in around where a jar is at. Because right here is a marble and then there's another one right there. Oh man. Uh, haven't been finding many. But that other one's a yellow alley, it looks like. And look at this smoker. Oh, man. Oh, it's green base instead of clear, like a pop bottle. Look at that. With a blue patch and real tight lines, that's a beauty. Now look here, right? Here's another one. Raking this stuff up out instead of shoveling it. Takes me much longer, but look at that alley agate. Oh, it's real nice. Unique color for an alley, too. Not many of them are that yellow orange. Two, that one's nice, man. Well, folks, I picked this up because I thought it was a clear marble. I just did it. It's at least a week maker. I got a handmade German marble again. Right below where I found that real awesome one. And I found ones in here this big. I'm raking through this ash and just taking my time. But it's right here. And it's all, oh, folks. This is what I'm after, baby. And all this hard work's paying off. Oh, man. It's Christmas colors. It's real, oh, let me get this cleaned off, folks. Man, lay that. All right, check out this bad boy. Wow, folks. Pawnels on both ends, ground off, German handmade. Beautiful coloring. Red, white, green. Man, lay that. Marbles everywhere in here, folks. I'm on her now. There's one right here. Dirt slid down it, but I saw it. It's right here. Oh, man. We are on it now. Look at this. Let me wipe this one off. It looks like a flame almost, an alley flame later. Well, there isn't any doubt this is an alley agate. And it's one of the ones from the Sistersville factory where they made them Coke bottles like I'm finding in... I'll find a Sistersville Coke in here today. And they're Sistersville marbles. I've dug around that factory. That's how I know this is just what they look like. I've dug buckets of them in there in the 90s. And all, every, almost every one looked like this, or a blue swirl. Later. Yeah, that had to be broke. That would have been the coolest. That Now, this is my cup of tea. If I'd have found this figurine, I'd have displayed that proudly. Some kind of sport fish. That's awesome. But it's broke. And I'd say it's pre-World War II Japan. Let me see. Yep. Right there, it just says Japan, which means if it would have been post-war, it would have said occupied Japan. Later. Man, there's all kinds of stuff in here in this ash layer. Look at this. Another muscle shell button hand cut, and it's still got the metal thing going through it. Huh. I'm going to have... I've got multiple buttons in there. I just showed that one because it had the metal. Later. Said that about the coops. So I'll find one. Well, I did. It's probably sisters, though. Look how clean it is. Yep. It's from around World War II. Sistersville, West Virginia. Real nice condition. 
Yeah, it's patting off us, but it's still a nice one. Later. This just fell right out of the bank. I thought it was broke up, but I got a lid to fit this. It's got some rust on it, but man, this is nice. It's aqua glass, and it's an Atlas Easy Seal Mason, and I mean, it's just embossed all up on the bottom. Look at that. Trademark Atlas Easy Seal blue glass, perfect, and it will take one of them glass toppers, which I've got. We've got a whole pile of stuff with this blue bottle. I just found one the other day. That's why I didn't show it. I'm going to keep that one later. And when you see those handmaids, um, you'll start seeing these too. And they're not nearly as good as the glass marbles. These are clay ones. This is a handmade clay marble. It's what they were before glass. I find them all the time, but that one will look nice. It's a perfect one. It'll look nice in that frame. But it's a shame that's messed up. Frosty taste treat parkersburg west virginia something summons bottling distributors there you can freeze it that's a unique one you bet it's messed up you can see this wasn't even a hole when i started and it's you know i've taken a truckload of dirt rounded off out of here and the marbles are down here on the bottom and that i know right where they're at but i got another smoker i think it's an acro it's right right there Huh. Oh, that's nice. It's going to be clear base. These lines right there around that, I'll show you. See that line? That's completely clear on the inside of that marble. You can see through it. It's got a window and you can look in. Man, that's nice. Look at the swirl on it. Real nice condition. And it's got that on it. I'm getting nice ones. It's worth it totally to find these marbles. To lay in these holes and after you get the frames together like i said i'll show you the frame that i'm working on here for this week at the end later i have hundreds of that bottle but people want them it's worth at least a buck or two later. that's kind of i just found a cork top one of these raleigh's the other day trademark made in the usa it's big i'm gonna take that that's kind of a cool bottle put it up here it's embossed later. I got another pretty good find. It's not like I haven't been finding a bunch of these, but there's another aqua tonsilline bottle with the original cap that says tonsilline, and it's like Bakelite stuff. That's a cool find. You get chalking them up. I'm gonna rake this out and see if I see any marbles. Later. Man, that's an old button. That's porcelain. Man, that's an old one. Getting lots of buttons. Later. You can see I could live back in under this today. I'm gonna okay keep a bunch, but I don't have much dirt on me. But here's another nice D-Pack cake, and it's Parkersburg, West Virginia, from around World War II. It's perfect. Got multiple cakes today. I'm finding old beer bottles. Look at this one. It's black glass, and it's got 83 on the bottom, but it's not embossed. Man, that would have been nice. It's black. Man, that's an old one. That's a nice little pitcher. It's probably White House vinegar related or something like that. I'm going to take it. With it. See another marble, it's way back in there. Uh, I got it. Ooh, it's another beaut. Look at the tight lines. It's an acro. It's one of these clear ones with the blue patch. It'll look great in that frame. Look at that nice wisping on it. Man. Later. I have to give in head first on this when I see another marble. Um let's see. Great. Right up here. Let's get out of here. Uh, hold on just one second. Right. Oh, that looks like a brick. It's got that other swirl to it. That's nice. It's pretty nice. Later just been working this hole here and you see i got some cave ends and i can't just shovel no more today i'm just at the end of my digging day i'm hurting um but i found lots of nice marbles um you can see there's just a pile of bottles here i'll have to decide what to take you know half this stuff i didn't even show atlas strong shouldered masons um look at this cream top milk and where's the other one I found another one of these baby head ones. I don't know where it went. Uh, it was right here. Another broken one of them. Um, I don't see it. 
I wasn't going to take it, but where is it at? Huh. Well, there's lots of blue bottles. There's marbles. There's that. I got that. Uh, let's get it here. I got that um, dog candy container, which in all them little bottles, forks and stuff. But this is the fun, my favorite fun. It's a kid's thing and it's awesome. Man, the marbles. This and the marbles. But I'll sort through these blue bottles and take all the ones I want. Look, I got multiples of them ones. Lots of stuff. There's embossed bottles there and stuff. Nothing spectacular. There's that um, tonsilline with a giraffe. I'll dump that stuff out of it, but I'll get pictures and that'll be, this will be it for this adventure. I'll show you some marbles and stuff next. Thanks for watching, fakes. I appreciate it. All right. Here's that broken milk. It was under all that stuff. It's an old break, but this is a Steubenville, Ohio milk with a baby head on it. And I just found one exactly like it. It's just perfect. Like three videos ago um, on the croc video where I found a beautiful blue lettered croc, but that's a shame. Oh, they're huge and they're embossed later. All right, here's a little cleanup. Um, you can see this is my second frame of marbles. I dug another mar frame of them. You'll see them back in one of my videos, but these are the ones from like this week and there's the German handmade right in there from today. Lots of these marbles from today were awesome. They just were. There's that blue one with like eyeball on it there. There's some unique colored ones and stuff. And also you got this kid's candy container cleaned up and it's absolutely perfect. It's a little dog the candy would have been in there you can see right there would have been a little tin thing over this i have lots of them but i don't have the dog but anyway um it was another success and i'm gonna do a giveaway video for an axe too this will be the last clip on this uh video thanks for watching all right i thought i'd just get these out real quick all of these marbles are from like the past 30 days October and November right here. Look at that frame of smokers. There's some dandies in there. There is some nice alleys. Look at that alley right there. And this is the second frame from November, December I'm working on. So you can see what I'm doing and what I will be doing. We're going to fill up puppy and more. Later.